Find the limit as x approaches positive infinity of x sine of 1 over x. So first of all, in this current form, when x goes to infinity, it's of the form infinity times 0. That means we have to do the following. We can say the limit as x approaches positive infinity, and then we write this as sine of 1 over x, and then you divide that by 1 over x. This form is equivalent to this one. The only difference is now when you take the limit as x goes to infinity, the top here goes towards 0, and the bottom also goes towards 0. So we have 0 divided by 0, that form, which means we can use L'Hopital. So we're going to have the limit as x goes towards positive infinity. Differentiate the numerator by the chain rule, so it's cosine the derivative of sine, copy the inside 1 over x, and then multiply by the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared. I have a video attached to how to do that part. Then you divide this by the derivative of 1 over x, which is, again, negative 1 over x squared. Nice thing is now, this cancels with this, and all that remains, if you think about it, then, is the following. The limit as x approaches positive infinity of just a cosine of 1 over x, so cosine of 1 over x this way. Now, cosine is continuous, so put the limit inside, so you're going to have cosine of the limit as x goes to positive infinity of 1 over x. Now, this limit is known to be 0, so you have cosine of 0. And then recall from the unit circle, quickly, unit circle, when you are at 0 radians, which is what this value is, then the x-coordinate is the value of the cosine that's equal to 1, which means the final output is 1, and that's the value of the limit.